Nobody cares how good you used to be. Isn't that right? Nobody cares how good you used to be. You're like the 87th speech I've done so far this year. 87. My first 86, I was amazing. <laughs> and y'all don't really care. You just hope I'm going to be pretty good today. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Now let me ask you, how is that any different for you? Does anybody care how good you used to be? No, you got to be good every single time you show up. Isn't that right? Say you bet. Because I don't care who you are and I don't care what you do. I think if there's anything in the world all of us have in common, we all want more success, more money, and more fun. Isn't that right? Yes. Absolutely. Well, let me tell you, it's just not that hard. It's not. We've made it hard. In fact, some of you want it to be hard. And you're saying that doesn't make any sense. Why in the world would anybody want it to be hard? I'll tell you why. Because if we buy into the idea that it's hard, we will have an excuse for not doing well. And I don't think there is an excuse for not doing well. I think everybody has the ability to do well. And we need to be reminded of how simple it really is. And it is simple. Sure, we get the hard stuff, we don't get the simple stuff, yet it really is the simple stuff that makes the biggest difference. I have a very simple philosophy for all business success. I believe business gets better when the people in the business get better. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Business improves when people improve. We're out there saying, how do we make business better? You can't. You can only make people better. And it works that way in every area. Sales get better when sales people get better. Customer service improves when the people who deliver that customer service improve. Employees get better right after managers get better. Works that way when you go home. Husbands get better when wives get better, and wives get better when husbands get better, and kids get better when parents get better, and everything in your life gets better when you get better, nothing ever gets better until you get better. You agree? Say you bet. Yeah. All right, here's the first good idea. Take responsibility. Now, don't write that down. <laughs> Can't imagine where you've been in your life that suddenly that just hit you as a good idea. I better get that one. I don't think I heard that. <laughs> take responsibility. Hardest thing anybody ever does in their whole life is take responsibility. Wouldn't you agree? Let me make you this guarantee, and I don't make many. From the day you are born until the day you die, the toughest thing you're ever going to do in your entire lifetime is go to the mirror, look yourself in the eye, and say, you know, this is all my fault. And it is. Flexibility is also the key to dealing with change. Now, let me ask you, is your industry changing? Yes. Oh, you bet. And you know what I've discovered? People hate change. They just hate it. They're tired of it. They don't want to go through any more change. Most people would rather just stay bad than have to go through the changes it's going to take to get good. They call my office saying, does Larry have a speech on how to deal with change? I've got one. Mine's not very long. And if you're having a problem dealing with change, you need my speech. If you know people who are having a problem dealing with change, you are going to enjoy giving them my speech. <laughs> this is my speech on how to deal with change. Shut up. Stop whining. Get a life. I put it on these t-shirts. And typically when I speak, I've got books and tapes and shirts and videos and all that stuff, and I've got some out there today. And normally what happens is people will come up to me where the table is, where all the stuff is, when I'm all finished, and they'll look at everything on the table, and then they will look at the shirt, and then they will look at me, and then they always say the very same thing. They always say, you know, I know somebody who needs that shirt. <laughs> How many of y'all right now know somebody who needs that shirt? You know, I get so sick and tired of hearing that because it's always somebody else who needs the shirt. So I just did a new run of them, and I printed it upside down so you can look down and read it yourself. <laughs> but let me tell you the key to having a good time. 
All you've got to do in life is just pay attention. There's more funny stuff out there. If you will just look around and pay attention. I'm doing a speech in Las Vegas, walking down the hall on the way to the meeting room. And I'm there a lot, so I've noticed just about everything there is. But as I walk down the hall on the way to the meeting room, I see a sign on one of the doorways there in the hall. And I was very fortunate. The sign was brand new, came right off. <laughs> The sign said, no exit, this is not an entrance. <laughs> what do you call a door you can't go in or out? <laughs> a wall, I guess. 